Hello. What's happening, Amers? Dan Lawless here, back with another edition of the West Ham Week. I didn't do one last Friday. I thought I'd give you a lot a bit of a break from me, as I've been doing quite a few videos lately. I've, I've had to do quite a lot, so I didn't want you lot getting too sick of me. So, like I said, I thought I'd give you guys a break. But I'm back now, and uh, with three two-minute segments about the latest stories of West Ham, all transfer-related, as that's what people are talking about. But start the time and now. Um, Andy Carroll, right? There's some bad, bad news. Very bad news for me anyway. I was gut when I heard this. Andy Carroll to Chelsea is off due to him having an ankle injury that could rule him out for about four to six weeks. So not only is he not going to Chelsea, we can't even utilise him. So yeah, I was pretty I was pretty annoyed about this because I was pretty excited the prospect of, you know, really getting some decent money off Carroll and you know, getting his getting off the wage bill because he is injured all the time. You know, I mean that would have been a we, you know that would have been daylight robbery if we would have got a good bit of money off Chelsea for him. Um, but now he's injured. That looks like that's done with, and we're stuck with him for a while. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's he's a talented player, but you know he just he doesn't give back what he gets. Like he he's not really earning his wages. And uh, I posted on my Twitter at the Lawless a little plug. Uh, a video of Craig Bellamy explaining some of the issues of, of Andy Carroll. And he said that he doesn't believe that he works hard enough in the week to be the player that he can be. And, um, you know, during training and stuff like that, he wouldn't really work hard and push himself through the pain barrier in terms of um, in the gym. He'd feel a little bit sore and he'd stop, um, you know, and, and that's and because of his lack of fitness and lack of work ethic that's probably why he picks up quite a few of his injuries so yeah I, I just and you know as well Carol he was well up for going to Chelsea so I think it's time it's t as, as soon as he's better in the summer we need to just move him on honestly um, and get a player that can stay fit whoever it is do you know what I mean like anyone's better than somebody who just plays a few games a year so but what Chelsea's doing I don't know they're after Peter Crouch now so they just want any big lump by the sound of it. What a shambles they're having. But anyway, back with West Ham. Uh, let's talk about a potential player that we could actually be signing. I know, shocking. Um, let's see if I pronounce this right. I have no idea if I pronounce this right, but I would say Jao Mario um, from Inter Milan. Midfielder, uh, Portuguese international who was in the team that won the Euros. And that's looking like a deal that apparently is quite close, if reports are to believe. I, I don't know. I, I wait until it's signed by the club, but announced by the club now. You, can't, you, you never know with these stories. But um, apparently it is close. He initially turned down the chance to come to West Ham on, uh, on loan, um, but has changed his mind and, and is open to it now. So it'd be a six months loan with a view to a permanent deal for about 20 to 22 million at the end of the season if we want to keep him on. And yeah, I think that's a, a great deal. I think it suits all involved. If that's the case, it's uh, safe for us. But, you know, I, I, I mean, if he doesn't set the world alight, or, but if he shows a little something, I mean, that, that's the only thing though. There is pressure to, for the rest of these, for these six months to really um you know wow us and stuff like that when you've got that sort of situation and sometimes it takes a player a while but you know i i went on the old youtubes as you do didn't you know, like check what the player is all about because i don't watch the italian league um and yeah i mean he does look like you know a good player from what you can get i mean you know caleri looked like a great player from youtube but it seems like he really likes to sort of run with the ball and sort of burst forward and and things like that, and his and his passing looks very good, which is what what we need as well. So whether he can, it'll, it'll be allowed that much space, and and with the defenses defenses in the Premier League to be able to do them runs and to hold on to the ball for so long, that remains to be seen. But the fact that his passing is good also helps him out in terms of being able to distribute it and things like that. So anyway, lastly, um, on this whole Chelsea saga. David Moyes has come out and said that he did not go to Stamford Bridge to watch uh, Michi Batshuayi and apparently that we're not we're not in for him. We're not going for him. Um, and I mean, it's sort of mixed feelings about that. So sort of, a lot of people who watched the game the other day weren't impressed with Batshuayi. Um, I think he, he lost the ball quite a bit um, and he, he didn't really 
um, trouble the defence too much of Norwich until he obviously banged the goal in. And, I mean, with Batshuayi, his, his awareness and his, his spatial awareness and his positioning is is pretty good. And, and for you've got to give him credit for that goal. Is he, was, he was watching the game, reading the game, got himself in the right place, the right time, positioned himself perfectly and banged the goal in, which is... You know what you need, and maybe he does need that consistent run of games. And like I said, he scored one. Uh, I think it's like one goal every three games. And when you ain't got that many games, um, when you ain't playing that many games, that's quite impressive. You ain't got many minutes on the pitch, so it's a player I would take a chance on. But that's off now. But it, apparently, David Moyes was looking at James Madison from Norwich, who did impress, who um, is highly rated. But we're looking at twenty million for him. So twenty million off a player from the Championship. I don't know, it's a big risk, it's a big risk, we'll have to see, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, uh, with Batshuayi, we, that was a player, obviously, we was all buzzing and hoping we'd get, didn't choose us, and it's one of them things, like, he obviously turned us down the first time, but if he obviously don't want to come to us the second time as well, then it's just a player turns you down twice, you've got to move on from that, but, I mean, I'd be interested in James Madison, but I don't know about 20 mil, that's a lot, let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, it's mostly been transfer related as that's pretty much all anyone's talking about now. Um, so let me know your comments on the stories that I've discussed. Um, did you, you know, were you upset about that, that Andy Carroll's not going or was you relieved? And uh, what do you think of this, uh, Jal Mario? Did I pronounce it wrong? Tell me. And uh, lastly... Mitchie Batshuayi, what do you reckon? Would he offer something to West Ham? Well, it don't matter now. It, it doesn't look like it's happening. But James Madison, what do you think? 20 million for uh, James Madison? Worth a punt? Let me know. Um, anyway, we're going to have fan cams, all of that stuff. I'll be down there tomorrow doing, uh, hopefully doing my uh, instant match reaction, post-match pint as well. Watch out for all that stuff and um, yeah, see you all down there tomorrow and hopefully we get the three points or tomorrow or today if you're watching this in the morning. Um, anyway, one thing left to say, come on you irons.